Hello students, today we are going to learn a very interesting and very simple topic and the name of the topic is probability. We have already learnt about this topic in our 9th standard. Let us learn further today in our 10th standard. Now in this module, what we are going to learn? We are going to learn introduction to probability, right? A small revision. This introduction to probability, we will learn with the help of a video, right? Everyone's holding their breath. This is the century we have been waiting for. The master is ready. In comes the ball. He hits it high. There's a field beneath it. Down comes the ball and, and, and. Can you tell what's the possibility that A, it will be caught by the fielder or B, it will be dropped by the fielder. This is what we learn in this interesting chapter called probability. Now you saw the video, after seeing the video what you can conclude, either the batsman is out or he is not out or you can say probably the batsman is out or probably he is not out. So when do you use this word probably? Probably word you use when you are not sure or not certain. This word probability has come from the word probable, right? Now this topic probability was first thought by whom you know? by gamblers, right? Now, gamblers are the people who are always uncertain. On which number should I put my money? Whether I should put my money on number 21 or number 19 or 15, which number I should put my money? They are always uncertain. So unknowingly, they used to measure the chance of getting 21, the chance of getting 12, the chance of getting 15 and so on. They used to unknowingly calculate what is the chance and then they used to put their money on that number. Right? So, this topic was first thought about by gamblers. Then, many mathematicians, they worked on this topic. These are some of them who worked on this topic probability and they gave it a mathematical touch and they also gave us a formula with the help of which we can find what is the chance of one particular thing, whether it is going to happen or not going to happen. We can really measure the chance. Right? So, these were the scientists who did that, right? Now, so let us understand probability mathematically. Now, before getting into the topic, there are few terms which you already learnt in 9th standard. This is a small revision, okay? So let us understand those terms. The first thing that you should understand in probability is random experiment. What is a random experiment? It is an experiment in which all the possible results are known in advance, but they cannot be predicted with certainty. You know all the possible results, but you can't predict it with certainty. For example, rolling of a die. Now, if you roll a die, you know what all you can get. You can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Any of these numbers, you can get it on the top surface, right? So, when you roll a die, any of these numbers, either you'll get 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6, you can get on the top surface, right? Now these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are the possible results of the experiment that you did, right? Now the next term we are going to understand that is called outcome. What is the meaning of this word outcome? What is outcome? The result of the random experiment is called as outcome, right? Now number of outcomes, how many outcomes are possible when you roll a die? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many are there? If you count the outcomes, there are 6. So, the number of all possible outcomes of this experiment that we did are how many? 6, right? Now, here we assume that each outcome equally likely to occur as the other. For example, when we roll a die, the chance of getting 1 is the same as chance of getting 2 is the same as chance of getting 3. You cannot say when I roll a die, the chance of getting 4 is better than chance of getting 3. No, all of them are equally likely to occur, right? So, hence these outcomes are called these outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These outcomes are equally likely outcomes because all are equally likely to occur, right? 